Hey, what's up you guys? It's Emma. I'm back with another video. It has been so long, like a month probably. I was in the process of moving, still putting stuff away, but uh, it was a three hour move, so a lot of back and forth trips and I just didn't have any time to film, but I finally sat down today and filmed this makeup tutorial for you guys, but I'm looking forward to actually setting up a space and getting back into it and trying to be more reliable at uploading videos. Uh, so don't go anywhere, I'm back. Uh, I'm back. That's it. <laughs> and the answer is yes, I did dye my hair purple, as you can see. Um, crazy thing for me to do, but I did it. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get into it. To prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the shade Eden. It in. Seriously, a little goes a long way with this product, and uh, somehow I always manage to forget that. And then I'm stuck here blending it out for three hours. So now I'm just gonna go and set that primer with just a like, light shade here. I'm using the shade Bay from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold, and just using 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 a just all over eyeshadow brush. Just putting that on there. I'm gonna go in with the shade Creme Brulee uh, by Makeup Geek. And I'm just using a Still Spot Essentials uh, eyeshadow blender brush. And I'm just putting that all in my crease there. Alright, so next I am going to go in uh, with the shade Man Eater, this red shade in the Huda Beauty Rose Gold uh, palette. And I'm just going to put that uh, just about in my crease, but just a little bit below, just to ease the transition for what I'm going to do on the lid. And I'm using another Still Spa Essentials uh, blending brush. So just going in right below, not quite in the crease, and not quite on the eyelid. So I know that my eyelashes are gonna look really effed up in the while I'm doing my eyeshadow because I have those eyelash extensions and the brush just moves them around the whole time and they just get so messed up. But they will look good in the end, I promise. All right, so next uh, I'm gonna go in with the shade Bitten. It is by Makeup Geek as well. Uh, it's kind of like a reddish burgundy color. Uh, I'm going to be using that all over the lid, um, and I'm going to be using the Sephora Precision Eyeshadow. I like to use this small brush for all over my eye, for all over my lid because I have small eyes. So if I use like a normal all over lid brush, it will just like paint my whole eye. And just going all over the eyelid. All right, so now that that's all over my lids and I look like a crazy person, uh, I'm gonna go back in with the shade Creme Brulee and just blend that all out. Sorry, my dog's barking. I don't know what he's barking at, but... Okay, so now to deepen up the look, I'm gonna go in with the shade uh, Black Truffle here and just put that on my outer V with um, the uh, Makeup Geek Outer V brush. Just pop that on there. Oh. Okay, so now that I have the black truffle on the outer V, I'm gonna go back in with that creme brulee just to blend it out again. Oh my gosh, I lose my brushes all the time. Like I set them down and then I can't seem to find the one I want. So I'm actually gonna go back in with that um, red, what's it called again? Bitten, I'm gonna go back in with that and just, um, 
brighten up the red and make sure that the red and the black are blended. All right, so the eyes are done. Well, not like done, but um, the eyeshadow for the lid is done. Uh, I'm gonna go do my face and my brows and then I will come back and do the lower lash line. All right, I'm bronzed, I'm blushed, I'm glowed. I'm ready to do my lower lash. I am going to go in with uh, that shade, the red shade uh, Bitten, and just put it right under my lower lash line here. And you want the darkest part uh, to be on the outside, obviously not the inside. Um, so just gently going in. And then using the same brush, I'm going to go into that black truffle and use the tiniest little bit um, right on the outside. I'm going to use the shade. Interesting. There's no shade on the back of this. I know it's from Makeup Geek. It's like this gold, uh, gold shimmery shadow, um, mystery shade. Never mind, scratch that. It's too dark. We're not using mystery shade. I'm going to use um, the shade. Oh, I hate when they do numbers. I just don't know. We're just gonna point at it. I'm gonna be using this gold shade in uh, by Makeup Forever. I don't know what number it is. It has all the numbers on the back, but. And I'm just gonna be popping that in the inner corner. And if you want, um, you can take like a black waterproof uh, eye pencil and run it along the waterline. I don't prefer doing this because my eyes are so small already. It just makes them look even smaller. So, we are just gonna throw some mascara on my lower lashes. All right, so then for lips, uh, I don't want to do too bold of a color because I want the eyes to be the main focus, so I'm just going to do um, the Rimmel. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Matte Lipstick in the shade 700, which is called Trendsetter. It is just a nice, nudish color. So let's see if I can uh, actually apply this on camera without effing up. All right, so now I'm just gonna be setting my face with the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 uh, setting spray. I am going to finish up my hair and I will be right back. This is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So that's all for today. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments below and like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.